the board, members, and officers, to uh, Dr. Epps and to the staff. I appeared before you last week as a taxpayer, as a candidate for the board, and as a concerned community person. I am profoundly concerned about this process because this process does not allow meaningful participation from the community. And the community are stakeholders in this process because we have to pay the taxes to help support this budget. The reality of the situation is there is a process that I know the board follows, the district follows rather, uh, by law. And that time frame from the time that the governor presents his numbers to the district and it has to go to the county for, I guess that's on March 4th, whenever that was, and then has to come to public hearing and then be approved is not enough time to have the public involved in this process. And at the end of the day, I think we lose sight of what is happening here, and that is our kids suffer, our children suffer, because we are doing the same things we have been doing. We're in a crisis, and in a crisis, we should take that as an opportunity to create opportunities to do something different. Last year, there were 372 layoffs, many of them teachers. This year, there are over 300 layoffs, many of them teachers, and an increase in the class size in our classrooms that would make our teachers even less effective make it even harder for them to do the jobs than it is now, is not giving our children the education that they deserve and that they desperately need today to succeed. We as a district have to do better. We have to make this process more than a knee-jerk reaction, let's do layoffs because we have to close this gap. I believe there should be more transparency in this process. I tried getting a copy of the budget through the website, I couldn't find it. And I'm an intelligent person, and I could not find it. I called, I'm sorry, I emailed and asked, how do I find it? I got no response. And I'm someone who's motivated to follow up, so I still have a copy of the budget. But for those people who may want access and are not as motivated, you're discouraged from participating in this process. I believe that we should, as a district, in a dealing with this crisis that we are in with so many of our schools failing. Take the opportunity to do something more than business as usual. Take the opportunity to begin this process earlier. So get the community involved earlier. We may not have the numbers, but with a $600 million plus budget, there is enough there to look at, to evaluate, to consider, to see where resources are going, to find other solutions other than laying off teachers that hurt our kids. We can't continue to do this. We can't continue to have our schools failing. And as long as we do this as business as usual, what do I say about doing the same thing and expecting a different result? That's where we are. So I would hope going forward, because I don't believe anything's going to happen tonight or this year with respect to this budget, but I would hope going forward as a district we take the opportunity to do something different, to do something that would involve the community, that would make this process more transparent. Uh, I did have a question. I know that um, the New Jersey Department of Education budget guidelines say that supporting documentation is supposed to be available. Everything that went with the budget application is supposed to be available to the public. Is that available to the public, and where do we find it? Um, it's at the business office. So you can at any time come and ask for or get a copy of that. Of the package? Yes. It's oh. And the package includes what? It includes the total budget. It's all the documents is about a good 700 pages okay. of documents. But it okay. includes all the school days, budgets, and stats. That, that, if, if that is the package and it is that large, then it takes more time than the three or four days or week that the public is given to review the budget and to participate in this process. So I hope as a district, it may not change anything this year, but going forward, we do things a little differently to help do better in our classrooms and to help our kids succeed. Our next speaker is Riaz Wahid.